Hi, my name is Brian Kane. Tonight video, we have a rear end differential here, drive axle. We're gonna be going to pre measurement. We're gonna be checking our backlash, our end plate, and our out of round of our gear. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna check our backlash and see what our end plate, our end plate spec is supposed to be within four to 12,000. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna look at it, and see what our end plate is. You're gonna see that's the movement in between the pinion gear and the big gear there. So now you're gonna check and see, as you can see, that's in proper spec. There we go. So our next measurement is now, we're gonna check for our end plate. We're gonna see what our end plate has, and then we're gonna check our run out. But let's check our run out of the gear first and see how warp it is. And we're supposed to only have a maximum of three thousands so let's see what we have for our run out are we going to go around in a circle here set our dial indicator up let's check for our run out and see let's see what we got let's go around in a circle anything over 3000 is warp is out of round cannot use as you can see this is a little bit more than 3,000, so this is out of specs. It is out of round. So this is how you replace this gear in here. Because it's out of round. It's slightly warped on one side. Either too much pressure or too much wear and tear, so it's warped on one side. Something might have been running a little uneven. Next, we're going to check our end plate to see what we have. And then we're going to look at a few more different things to see. Let's check our end plate for movement. It's supposed to be zero movement on our end plate here. Zero movement. Yep. Let's see if we got what we got. As you rock this back and forth, zero movement. So obviously we have great end plate, no movement. So it's properly still in spec. So that there, the only thing is, you're gonna come over here now, you're gonna look and see about any damages to your gear, your spider gears, your teeth. You wanna check your bushings. Now, if you have too much movement on one side, you also could adjust it by putting different shims and stuff on the inside of it. And you're gonna check all your gears, go through it one by one, check the different grinding, see where the wear has been. Check all your spider gear teeth, check everything. Look for cracks, burns, anything on it. So that way, if it's being properly lubricated, you'll know what to look for and what's missing. And that there, guys, hit like, subscribe. If you need any questions, hit me, inbox me, let me know. And hope this video makes a lot of sense in what to look for, how to check your end plays, your reading, your backlash, and everything on your run out. And that's how you check on your rear end differential. Thank you.